Hey, welcome to another update. A few months ago, I've uh, got in touch with this dude on the Gearbox forums and uh, he posted 3D prints or parts of a nade mod that he made and he 3D printed. So I've contacted him and I said, you know, if you can hook me up with a, with a copy. And he did. There is a link to his Instagram uh, shown on the screen now, so go check him out. He's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, he sent me a a Torg grenade um, so it was one of these which is the top section the detail is uh, is, is pretty mind-blowing to be honest it, it just looks amazing when I look at the screenshot fins which again look incredibly detailed and like all the small bits and pieces when I look at the screenshot like all these little lines across these exhaust type things and it's it's all there Pretty nuts. Um, these covers, there is two of them. There is the bottom section. There is this shroud that actually, when I looked at the screenshot, it, it sort of hooks under here, so I'm going to have to connect that. And there are three exhausts. What I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I can find a legendary grenade that I can place on the shelf of the vending machine because the um, that's the feature shelf that I've, I've gone with and although I know these particular grenades have never been to my knowledge anyway sold in a vending machine unless they have been and I missed it um, but I found that the uh, roided gas call is the one that matches to all the parts that I have here so there are two fins there is one of these middle sections there is a bottom part, the top part, the shroud, and two exhausts. So I'm actually left with a couple of spears. Um, the Vindicator Gus call would have been cool, but I, there is a section that goes on top of this that I don't have, and I'm not even going to attempt to make it because it'll just ruin the, the precision and the detail of this grenade. So I'm just going to go with this, and this way all I need to do is assemble it and then paint it. First, I sand it up. Most of the bits starting with 240 grit going all the way up to 600. I ended up connecting the middle section with blue tack. I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it, but it seemed to work, so I just went with it. The next day I've sanded the bottom of the middle section flat, so then it can hook onto the top piece. The next day I stopped off at my old panel shop and I put a couple of coats of the primary colour down. Masking out the top section so I can paint it blue. And here I am fixing my own shitty masking. I've hardly ever really used a brush before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. It's uh, just a bit of trial and error. And again here, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just following a couple of 
tutorials on YouTube. And there we go. So it's pretty much to scale. Um, I will probably sort out the stickers for the top. I'm not even going to attempt to paint the Torg uh, logo myself um, and might need to add some lighting from the top. Thanks for watching.